This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading equestrian education source. This was the 1959 Pan Am Games. It was at the iconic Soldiers Field in Chicago. We had a top team. We had a team hard to beat. It was uh, Bill Steinkraus and Riviera Wonder, you Wiley and Nautical, Frank Chapeau, and Tally Ho, and myself on Night Owl. And uh, I remember it very well because it was blazing hot. It was in August. It was very, very, very hot. After the first round, which was in the morning, it was on the infield, the track field of the Pan Am Games. It was traditional. It was always the last event of an Olympics or a Pan Am because they held it in the main stadium on the in infield, so it had to be the last competition because it destroyed the field for the other sports. This water, this water was about 16 feet and it was a mud puddle and very, very few horses jumped it. You'll see it was a very big, flat, ugly water. As I finished and walked off the infield, I jumped off my horse to get a Coca-Cola because it was so, so hot I was about to die. And the groom took the horse and I was eliminated because I didn't walk past the track. I just got off on the track. Wherever it was, I didn't dismount at the right place. Well, there were four of us riding, and I'm sure three scores counted. So we were still all right, but that was a very, very, very hot day, but that was a real cold lunch because Bird Dynamothy was wild, and my teammates were also wild. They didn't speak during lunch, so I remember the lunch very well. Now we have Frank Chapontelio. He was an Irish horse that John Galvin imported from Ireland. He wasn't a Ron Pre horse of any note. He was a useful horse, but he wasn't a big time, high class horse. He was a good soul. You see, the horses in those days were impeccably turned out due to Bob Friels and his wonderful group of guys. Most of them were guys then that took care of the horses. You'll see that coat, that horse's coat, his weight. It's as good as you get. That braid job is as good as you get. That horse is not a beautiful horse, particularly. He's a half-bred Irish horse, but he's beautifully cared for. Frank also, you'll see, rides very forward, very much with his horse. Still, he'll drop behind him a little more than I do, which still is his style. He's a very powerful, aggressive rider, just like you saw there, Frankie. This horse needed that kind of a ride. He was a leg horse, not the most scope. Here's a triple bar at the end of the ring, and you'll see lots of triple bars on this course. I forgot how many. Now here, Frank, this is a related distance. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll see other people add the stride. See also with Frank, the pulley rein. That was much more taut in those days. It's a great rein aid, but if it's overdone, it's not too great. Now we don't do it too much. We don't teach it too much. I like to teach it. I like that in my toolbox. Another triple bar. Now there's a fence on the end. Watch this. After this fence, watch this water. This was a water I'll never forget. Very few jumped it. Frank would give a real typical aggressive ride. He met it beautifully, but horses didn't jump up over that water. It was very, very wide, very shallow. There's another triple bar. Now this is that last line, and we have more triple bars. You'll see that 
rider's upper body rarely opens up like we see today. Very, very different. Frank is a good example of running through the timers, racehorse style. Now we go to Bill Steinkraus on Revere Wonder, who was the poster boy horse of the Bonn and Wheat line. Later, Jim Twist represented the Bonn and Wheat line, the great French line, gray stallion of Liz Whitney Tippett's years ago of Lang Golden Farm. You'll see what a beautiful thoroughbred horse this is. He had a particularly cute face. Big lop ears, beautiful eyes, dishy face, very much a blood horse. And then you get to the good part, which is how he jumps the jumps. An incredible jumping mechanism, much like a more current Jim Twist, who was his relative. Hear that? Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll see Frank left out the stride and Billy added the stride. Billy liked to have a horse very much in his hand. He was a little ahead of the curve on that the way we ride today. But there again, you'll see the pulley rein and very little opening of the upper body. The horse was quite hot. I don't recollect, I don't think of him as a hot horse, but he was a hot thoroughbred horse. This horse did not jump water very well in the best of times. You'll see him step right in it. Jim Twist would on occasion hit the tape, often very, very careful horses that I've had or seen will step on the tape. They jump every fence, rub free. They hate hitting fences, but they'll step on the tape for whatever reason. Beautiful jumper, beautiful expression. So careful, triple bar, triple bar. I forgot how many triple bars there were. And he didn't make a Finishing circle, he walked out. Now this is the horse with the flying tail. You wily and nautical, this horse. Walt Disney made a film, The Horse with the Flying Tail, that won an Oscar for the best documentary. First year I went to acting school, all my friends and I watched the Oscars and this film won. I said, I don't need to go to the neighborhood playhouse school of the theater. I've already been in a movie that won an Oscar. And this horse was very, very hot. He was mostly thoroughbred. He was a, from the west, somewhere in the west, New Mexico or somewhere. Part quarter horse, I would suspect, but mostly thoroughbred. An extremely hot horse. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where he left out one part and had it on the other. You'll see again, you Wiley rode a very forward seat, which of course suited this horse to a T. There was no driving action of a seat needed on this hotter than hot horse. One of the hottest show horses I've ever had anything to do with. I never rode him, but I was with the horse every day. And this horse was a spectacular water jumper. You'll see there, this horse is one of the very, very few, two or three, I think it was, that jumped that water, which was particularly ugly. There you see very, very little opening of the hip angle. We maintain that galloping position exclusively but you didn't have to get behind. You didn't have to straighten up and sit your buttock and get behind a horse because they're all so hot. They're thoroughbred horses. They didn't require drive.
Well, despite my jumping off prematurely, which I didn't realize I was doing to get a Coca-Cola, uh, the three scores out of the four must have counted. And then I don't remember the afternoon being a disaster. So we, I remember quite handily, won the gold medal. They didn't have an individual uh, award at the Pan Am in 1959. They didn't award individual medals. It was just simply a two-round competition. It was a team event.